the Music City Bowl featuring Auburn and Maryland, a game which has a multitude of on-field and some other factors that look to provide us with a pretty solid play here. We'll get into that in just a second, but first let me remind everybody of the Wager Talk special going on right now. Currently, you can get a seven-day pass using passcode HOLIDAY7. That's HOLIDAY7. It'll get you seven days. Every sport, every play that I release over the course of the next seven days, NBA, college basketball, college football, NFL, all seven days, just $69. Use the passcode HOLIDAY7 to get this all-access pass. Let's get into this football game now here real quick. Uh, Auburn versus Maryland. We'll get into the personnel losses. That's the way we have to start all of these bowl games here for Maryland. It's number one quarterback, Talia Tagovailoa. He opted out of this game. Um, certainly a Maryland record setter. The drop off likely to be significant, but we're going to get a look at the number two quarterback here, Richard sophomore Billy Edwards, a 6'3", 215-pound pocket passer. A little different than Tugavailoa. Also, Richard, freshman Cam Edge figures to play in this game. The two guys put together have 13 pass attempts on the season. A pair of key defensive starters out for Maryland as well. Their number one corner, Tarheeb, still led the team with five picks. And also their top tight end, Corey Deitches, not 49 receptions on the season. That was second best on the team. For Auburn, they're going to be missing both starting corners here, an area that could be picked on if – in fact, Billy Edwards Jr. and the Maryland passing game gets going, but both corners out, including DJ James, led the team with 10 pass breakups, and their leading sack guy, Marcus Harris, across the defensive front, 11 tackles for lost seven sacks, led the team in both of those categories. Auburn could be a little thin in the secondary. There's some additional question marks as well. A couple of coaches' quotes here that I noted for Maryland. Head coach Mike Loxley said, this will almost be like a preseason game. And a lot of these coaches use this as a stepping stone for 2024. Auburn head coach Hugh Freeze, he basically said, we have a very difficult task ahead of us. I don't know if that has to do with the lack of offense his team has provided this year or the fact that he respects Maryland inside his quote. Um, or after that quote, he did refer to both of those points. So Hugh Freeze doesn't see this as an easy measure here. Both coaches obviously using the 15 extra practices to get ready for 2024. If we look at the matchup breakdown here real quick, Auburn's got the edge of quarterback, Peyton Thorne, experienced guy, full year in the system here. He'll be the 2024 starter. That's certainly an edge for them. But the Tiger passing game is a weakness. So you could debate how much of an advantage this really is because Maryland has the much better receiving core guys that can uh, break games open. So again, an experienced edge at quarterback, I don't know how significant it is. Each team would like to lean on the running game. Believe it or not, Maryland was significantly better against the run than Auburn was. Maryland ranked 32nd in the nation against the run. 62 yards allowed less than Auburn's 89th ranked run defense. So certainly you wouldn't off the top of your head just figure that the uh, Maryland Terrapins would be a better run defense, but they were could be an advantage here because if Maryland gets going with the running game, that helps the young quarterback. Again, that might help them expose Auburn's weakness in the secondary where Maryland's receivers could have a big advantage. Um, if I look at the level of competition, I think the knee-jerk reaction would be to say any SEC West team has played a better schedule. Not necessarily the case when you come from the Big Ten East for Maryland. They've played Ohio State. They've played Michigan. They've played Penn State. All of those fantastic teams. They played Rutgers, another bowl team. That's comparable to what Auburn played out of the SEC West, Bama, LSU, Mississippi, A&M. They did also play Georgia. Auburn went 0-4 in those SEC games. Um, had Alabama on the ropes, only lost by seven to Georgia. Maryland went 1-3 in the four games I mentioned. They only lost by seven to Michigan. And they, they crushed, absolutely crushed Rutgers in that really good defense. You, know, you sum all this up and you find out that these are mirror images. Other than the quarterback experience advantage, they're basically identical. Without the ability here to predict what critical turnovers might happen in this game, you got to take a look at the underdog in this spot. The Nashville venue should favor Auburn. They sold out of their allotted tickets for this game. It could help, but I'm more willing to take seven here with Maryland, a team that's very comparable to Auburn here. 
it looks like a field goal type game. The play here is going to be Maryland plus the seven points. Real quick, if you like what we're providing here from an analysis standpoint on these bowl games and every sport that we cover here in these single game videos at Wager Talk, go ahead and hit the like button. Give us a comment. We will respond to all comments. Hit the subscribe button. Helps us out with the channel when you subscribe. So once again, Music City Bowl, go ahead and play Maryland plus the seven. This is Rob Vino, WagerTalk.com, uh, Wager saying thanks and see you next time.